Hey, what's going on guys? So uh, today I wanted to talk about a uh, lighter. This is an old little lighter and um, I actually recently posted on uh, Instagram me using this lighter for a, um, a pipe. I enjoyed a pipe. My uh, Bulldog Meerschaum um, Church Warden. It's been a long time since I uh, enjoyed a pipe. And uh, in that post, I had a couple people send messages about the lighter, asking about it a little bit. It's an old Dunhill lift arm lighter from 1925. And this thing is cool. Um, Dunhill of London has been around since 1893. And they basically specialize in classy goods. <laughs> That's pretty much the best way I could say it. They literally have thousands of products, you know, um, you name it. I mean, they, they make everything that's classy. It's pretty much all high-end stuff. Uh, and they've been doing it for over uh, 100 and, what is it? It's 2020. Let's do the math real quick. I didn't figure this out. Uh, 70 years to 1900, so it's 127 years. How about that? A little mental math. Um, in 1921, they came out with their first store in New York City. And three years later, in 1924, they came out with their first store in Paris. And one year later, they came out with this lighter from 1925. And uh, there's all kinds of patents on the bottom here, which I'll show you in a second. Um, in 1927 is when they officially released this, I guess, worldwide as the first one-handed opening lighter style. Okay, this uh, obviously predates Zippo. Zippo came out in 1932. So in 27, they're like, hey world, we have a lighter you can use with one hand, because previously it was two-handed lighters. Um, and then obviously a couple years later, uh, five years later exactly, Zippo, George G. Blaisdell in uh, Bradford, Pennsylvania said, uh, no, I got this cool lighter design too. And that's one, uh, one hand operable. So uh, let's go ahead and zoom in on this. So coming in nice and close here, you can see this is the unique lighter from Dunhill. So that was the name of this, Unique. All right, there is a little uh, knurly on the side here. So I could probably open this, yep. You can tighten it, you know, with a flathead if you want. But this is your little fill area to put in your lighter fluid. All right, and then this cap also houses a spare flint tube. All right, so you can unscrew this as well. This is where you can keep your uh, spare flint, which is really nice because you can have the lighter and it can be filled up nice. But if you run out of flint, you have no spark, means you have no flame. And the lighter is no longer useful. So it's always great to have a spare flint. Um, this lighter has, again, because this is before it was officially released, this is when they first had their patents. So on top here, you have a Canadian patent. Okay? So they patented this in Canada. It's made in Switzerland. All right. Uh, in the middle here, we have an English patent Okay, for like uh, the UK. Um, and then there's an American US patent. So they have three different patents that they put out uh, to ensure that no one would be uh, copying this. Um, and uh, they were very successful. Uh, apparently this lighter and many, many, many variants of this lighter were very, very popular over the years. All right, taking a look at the side here. If I flip it around, you can see it says Dunhill on the arm. And uh, again, this was called a, uh, a lift arm. And it's a very simple concept. We have an arm that pivots and this basically covers uh, the flint area with the spark wheel as well as the actual um, little wick that's there. Okay, so it doesn't dry up very easily. So you would just push on here and it would lift up this entire arm and stay out of the way. There's the flint wheel, which rotates, okay, and throws sparks at that little wick, which has fluid. And then it would snap shut. On the back here, on this arm, there's a spring in here. There's a little uh, flathead screw. So if you unscrew this, that's how you would access your flint. So flint on the end, and then a pusher, and then a spring. Okay, so it's keeping tension on that flint. So when you turn that, it does spark. Just really, really cool. Very uh, simple version of this. They made these in sterling silver. They made these in gold. They made them ornate. Some of these had uh, a clock inset in the face, which is really, really cool. Uh, and these can sell for thousands and thousands of dollars. Um, the plain ones like this are worth about $150 to $200. really just depends on who's looking and when. Uh, could be worth a little bit more. Just Again, just depends on the interest in it. But they generally sell very consistently on eBay for like $150 to $200, $250, something like that. 
Uh, the sterling silver ones they sell for like five hundred to thousand dollars, depending on condition. Obviously, the gold sells for even more. So I uh, ended up trading my uh, Kaiser Shamsher um, for this uh, this lighter. I did a video on it, and um, you know someone really enjoyed it. They did offer this lighter, and I was trying to figure out because I really wanted this for the collection. I wanted to actually use it. It's just a really, really nice quality lighter, and it has a ton of history. I mean, being made in 1925, this thing is, what, 95 years old already? Um, it's awesome. It's just really cool. But my intentions are to just enjoy it for a little bit and then pass it on. Uh, just uh, eventually sell it or trade it or something. just makes for a cool piece. Anyway, just wanted to share this with you guys. As far as lighters are concerned, I generally focus on Zippos and only Zippos. Um, I do have a variety of different layers and stuff, but they don't like specifically pique my interest. They're usually just add-ons and trades and stuff, and I do enjoy them. I do use them, uh, but I don't focus on them too much unless they have some kind of historical significance, which this one did. Uh, I've kind of always wanted a Dunhill lighter. Uh, this does work fantastic for pipes. They do make specific pipe lighters as well, um, you know, but they're expensive, very expensive. This one happened to, to pop up in a, a trade offer, and I had the right thing the person wanted and uh, worked out the trade. So I just wanted to make this uh, video to share with you guys. Again, you know, posting on Instagram, a lot of people were, were interested in, uh, in what lighter it was. They just knew it was old. But yeah, the Dunhill Unique Lighter. Very, very cool from 1925. So that's it for now. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with another video. You guessed it. So take it easy guys.